The Bible teaches that there are three little men living inside of us. There's the intellect, the emotion, and the will. Now, by wisdom, by your intellect alone, you cannot come to Christ. There is that step of faith. Timothy Dwight, who was president of Yale until the latter part of the last century, the second Timothy Dwight said that truth can only be dimly seen by the intellect. And how right he was, just dimly seen. You can never come to the truth by the intellect alone. It must be faith. There is that step of faith that you must take and receive by faith. But my emotion looks at Christ on the cross and I say, I could love him. He died for me. I look at the judgments that are promised in the Bible and I'm afraid. That's emotion. But the thing that God is really getting at is your will. He wants you to say, I will receive him as Savior and Lord. But you see, your will has been affected by sin paralyzed in some cases. You just can't say that. And when you come to Christ, you say, I will, and that's a lifetime eternal commitment forever. And he receives you and forgives you and cleanses you. What a wonderful good news that is. Now this man had been waiting 38 years. He had tried everything else. He had tried 14,000 times to get in that water if you count every day and perhaps you could do that but he was now hopeless helpless lying there on that pallet crippled no friends to help him in the water first and Jesus goes up to him and he went to him probably because he was the worst case there and he said do you want to be healed but you know, Jesus' question to this man sounds almost cruel. Every day he'd tried. But then you start to think about it. It wasn't so cruel after all. Do you really want Christ in your life? Do you? Do you really want him to come into your heart? Are you really ready to meet his demands and surrender everything to him and make him your Lord? It's not easy. It means that some of those things that you've been doing that are wrong, you'll have to give up. It means there'll have to be new attitudes in your life. It means that he becomes Lord of all of your decisions. He helps you to make the decision about marriage. He helps you in your vocation. You must turn to him at every turn and read the Bible and pray and witness and get into the church. It means that your total life is committed totally to him as Lord and Savior. Do you really want that? Jesus said to this man, do you really want to be healed? Do you? You can be tonight. You see, the closer we get to him and realize his demands, the more we're not sure. Jesus said, will you be made whole? Would you let Christ make you whole tonight? Apparently this man answered, yes, I want to be made whole.